My name is Marcus Forston. I'm up from Miami, Florida, and I play defensive tackle for the University of Miami. Now, first practice is, is something you're anxious for. Playing this game, you know, the, the way that you, to have that on your helmet and have it on your, in the middle of your chest, you know, there's no feeling like that in the world. Once I got taped, that's when I knew, you know, everything was about to happen. I went inside the locker room and get a dress. Everything was running through my mind, 110 things at one time. I went out there, you know, on the football field, you know, just leaving everything behind me, knowing that I just had, you know, surgery, but I couldn't complain because I knew my teammates needed me. Go! Let's go! Get out, get out, get out, come on, run! It was so hot. You could feel the steam running down your back. That's when everybody was pouring water on themselves to try to cool down, but that wasn't working. Go! Towards the middle of practice, I started getting a little fatigued. The heat and everything got the best of me. Hey, hey, hey! Who was that? Marcus, cover that. I was very quiet out there on the football field. A guy saying, you know, what's wrong with you, boom? I'm like, I'm, I'm all right. You know, but, but deep down the side, I know that I was letting my mind, you know, get the best of me. Then when we had our second break, we went inside the weight room. Hey, let's go, we gotta get the game ready. Oh man, I, I felt so guilty because I felt like I cheated my own defense. And I felt like I cheated my team because I know that they relied on me and looked at me as a leader. But I know deep down in my heart, I didn't give 110%. Make sure Frank at least two. I know that I had to do something to fix it. I said, man, something got to happen right now. That's when I went to talk to one of my fellow, you know, leaders, Sean Spence. He just told me, man, hey, if you feel like you cheated the team, talk to him. And that's what I did. Yo, 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 y'all listen up, man. Yo, yo, hey, fellas, 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 man. No, I cried out to him. Hey, today, man, my mom was wrong, man. I'm telling you. You know, just, just spoke from my heart and told him, man, hey, you won't never see me like that again. I promise you. And that's when I felt like the whole momentum of the team had no head change. We went back out, and the momentum and, and the passion guys was playing with, it was, it was awesome. Keep working, keep working! I feel like you know, the speech I gave those guys, they really listened and took it in, and they forgave me, and, and, I, and I earned their respect for that. Ready, hunt! I had a lot more ahead of me um, that day. Oh, you want some sauce too? Nah, that's it, right there. Appreciate that. You had to go, you know, eat lunch, then come back after lunch. Watch the pad level right here, Marcus. Here's Bear. Here's your end. Slice, slice, slice. We had a couple of meetings. After meetings, we left. <laughs> we came back into our night meeting, and that's a team meeting. What's up, fellas? Most of y'all know me. My name is Marcus Forsner. Call me Boom. Coach asked us to share something that the team doesn't know about me. Came from a household, um, my mama had six kids. <sighs> her sister was staying with her, with her son, a four bedroom apartment. I just shared to him about, you know, why, why my mom is so important to me. My senior struggled so much, like I said, so many people staying in that household and she took care of everybody by herself, no complaints. I never seen this lady complain. She lived through me, and she molded me to be the man I am today. And you talk about mental toughness, that's mental toughness right there. That's just to give a little story about me. Like I always smile because I'm happy to be around you guys. I know what it, what it means to be family because that was instilled to me way back then. Like I told Sean Spence, it's better out there because if you leave it in, you're gonna have some type of guilt and that's gonna burn in your heart, you know, forever. But if you share with you know some guys that you love and be with, hey, that was well done. That was well done. You know nothing should be a secret. There shouldn't be nothing that your teammates don't know about you. Walking out of the complex, I had a lot of guys you know around me just saying, well, "I never knew you went through all that." After that walk out of there, I felt kind of good. You know, Mike James texted me you know like 10 minutes after that, just saying, "Man, thank you for that speech because you really touched my heart." And I just told him, "Man, thank you." 
knowing I love you and, and you know anything you need, I'm always here for you.